not to say, oh, maybe you should masturbate instead of, instead of having sex. But if the kid is yeah. having sex, but doctors will be able to tell you that too. No, yes. no. Well, this is what I'm saying. Doctors back can't to, tell you if they masturbating. Back, yes, they can. No. no, if they don't share well, it, no, they shouldn't share it with the they doctor. Can, let me tell you something about doctors because I, my niece, my niece and her mother took my niece to her first quote unquote gynecology doctor's appointment. I'm so sorry. Where there That's was, just like anybody. Where there That's was just like no, anybody can tell. there was them. no it's, examination done, there was only a conversation between. Her and the doctor where myself and her mother sat in the waiting room and waited for about 30 minutes until that conversation was over with that doctor. And then the doctor came out and took me and took, and took myself and her mother into the room, asked the mother if it was okay that I come. And she said, yes, it's def she, that's her aunt. She can go too. And we went in, in the um, doctor's office and the doctor said, your child is not sexually active in no kind of, in no form or fashion. She's not thinking about anything with sex. She's not anything. How old is she? Now she's 18. And I, it's, uh, I, now she's, I have a tw I, now I, she's 18. My 12 then year old she is was 12 slicker. and 13. She is slicker than Snicker. I'm so sorry. She <laughs> my will. My was slick today in my she, pocket. She, <laughs> she <laughs> is. My and girl is slicker than a Snicker. She is. And I, Mm -mm. I don't know. I honestly they can have a conversation. No, they can have a conversation, but these kids are, really are smart. They, they are, are smart. smart. Okay. They are smart and they are keen they to it. Think they, they are. are. No, they, they are. are. I'm telling you. I I deal with it yeah. on. I they really. I are. deal with it on a red. The things that they do. Yeah. Yeah. Because even my two year old like. Okay. Mm. But even still, even going back <laughs> to the conversation that she had. When she was comfortable to have a conversation with the doctor, and then still felt though, okay, when she asked her questions about what the you know what the conversation into, um, you know, consisted of with the doctor, it was okay for her to tell her what the conversation was because all of the questions that the doctor no, had I understand was that. no, I so understand there was nothing that, that was a con a confirmation. Are you having sex with the doctor? No, I'm not. So I could tell my mother. I don't the know. doctor asked me if I was having sex and was I smoking. Was has to be. All of that is no. <laughs> No, I don't know. I'm masturbating right she's now. She's not going to come. You know, I still feel as though she's not going to come like to you. She's going to go all the way. I don't know. I think. Masturbating. I don't know. 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 I so you think kissing is having is a is a is a leeway to having sex? Now you can't talk about kissing. Yes. Now. You can't talk about kissing. You can't talk about kissing in 2011. <laughs> Why? Because 2011 they have deemed other things versions of kissing. Yeah, other versions of kissing. But you talking about kissing. kissing. Ah, I was well, talking about kissing. Talking about kissing, about kissing on the lips. Right? Yeah, no. Right? She's, she's talking about kissing. I'm talking about kissing. kissing. Is a form of like ask that. a teenager yeah. if they kissing today, and they may tell you, yeah, they kissing, but it won't be from kissing from the mouth. No, but she's but talking about that. She's talking about kissing. Kissing. Can lead. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Yes. Things. Okay. Well, that is good. That is his first thing. Like from such a young age, like two, three, and it's like, how do you talk to a kid that's like two or three to stop them from masturbating? Well, that's what we started from the beginning. Two and three. If it's, right. but if it's, because, like, be, it's because they were sexually, they were they're doing it two and three. Right, but they were but they sexually, were sexually, sexually abused. Molested. But I, so, and that, like, let's say it's your child, two or three. Or somebody you know. Let's not say it's your child. Let's Thank say you. Some, let's, let's say somebody not, that you know. Already kissing at three. Two or Don't three. They were they were sexually <laughs> abused. So now they masturbate in public. That's that's an ACS case. Mm -hmm. Right. And I think the kids have to constantly be reprimanded. 
That's why when things like that happen, you have to constantly watch those kids. But do you rep? Do you do you no, reprimand them if it's no. natural? If it's no, common it's and natural, natural, it's not natural. Tell them that way. No, no, no but it's, 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 it's not natural. Those, that's how when those type of situations happen, I think in from the perspective that you're speaking from, mm -hmm. the, like the teachers have to be notified. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes, yes. yes. The parents yeah. that the kids interact with have to be notified yes. to to watch those kids yeah. and make sure that they're not doing certain things. If they see them doing certain things, they have to, you know, call their name. You know, they, it, it just is something that you have to do in order to make sure that Grab they their to divert back. their attention exactly. from it. Exactly. But you know what they also do at that age, once they've been molested and they start masturbating, they start storytelling, which you also have to be careful what? of. What? They, they storytell. And they'll yes, say so that, that so-and-so, th this is the class that I took, so-and-so touched me, like with the foster care. They have kids that were young, they were, they were molested, so now they go into other homes and they're, they're masturbating because that feeling that yeah. they got when they were molested. Mm -hmm. So now they'll say that the foster parent is touching them. Mm. When the Which foster parent, lie, is right, it's right. not touching them, but they're so young that they don't even know the difference what, between right, and what has happened to them. So it's a traumatic experience. It, it so really they went is. from the adult touching them in the home to being in a foster home, touching themselves, but envisioning that Somebody the adult is touching them because they don't realize Damn. that it's wrong. Right, right, Damn. and it can get you in a lot of trouble. Yeah, yeah. So you have to That's why. That's why I said you have to. Definitely venture in that child's brain and find out where that where that came from. How did you come about being able to explore your body? But and you can't even you do that with you some kids you because can. no, like you can't do that with a two year old. That in not all cases kids are molested okay. to right. touch themselves. They just it's, may uh -huh. touch themselves, but at the same time you have to. And and, and when we say reprimand, reprimanding someone is not always. A drastic reprimand. Mm -hmm. You could be reprimanded, like they say. Right. You get a written or verbal warning, a written warning. So That's it's like out. you say, like, say if I saw my two-year-old touching himself, I was like, oh, don't do that. That's nasty. Or how I said, I used to say to another one of my kids, oh, you choking the chicken. Like you don't make it like aggressively harsh, yeah. but you do acknowledge that they're doing it and it's wrong. Something like, inappropriate. But if what? he did that now at his age now, like now we in another situation because, you know, we done went through the, the two-year-old, three-year-old stage when we laughed it off Why you choking your chicken so you learned that it was wrong to do. So now at 10, 11, 12 if you are openly touching yourself, now I'm gonna take I'm going to talk to you in a different tone about it. And then the next time I see you do it, we may have to escalate it. Yeah. All right. So, but this is my question. It goes back to saying from the beginning and even in your topic teaser, that it's a natural occurrence that presents itself in childhood that bo g boys and girls play with their genitals regularly by the age of five to six. So if this I is like my child's playing with her. No, I'm just, if, if <laughs> this is. She's touching herself. It it's natural, it's, it's called self-exploration. Self self exploration. And they explore. Like, you're like, oh, this is different. This is new. What you think she going to do when she have hair down there? Oh, she going down there. She going to be like, wow, yeah. she bringing it to you too. Look, mommy. Yeah, there's a lot of experience there. already. Okay. Yeah, you know she says with mine. Remember that? I don't know about you, but there have been times that I have gone to wake mm. up my child and I've seen... At that point, once you pull back the covers, she's sleep. But the hand is <gasps> in that area. Wow. No, and, and, yes. see, and that's what and that's what it is. If this is natural for them to do, just like it's natural to swallow, natural to eat, swallow? natural no, it's, no, that ain't natural. Swallow your spit. Oh. It's natural to eat the food. It's natural. <laughs> Not, your mind's in the gutter. It's natural to it's walk. No, I'm serious. <laughs> if it's natural to do all those things, <laughs> and then you eat flour. Flour. <laughs> <laughs> If it's natural to do all those things, and then you equate the natural occurrence of a sexual exploration without it being a negative connotation, why is it negative? Why is it? Why is it so much negative being put on it? If if it's natural, you know, like you know what I else? think. Let me say what I what I. Thought, like the first thing that popped into my mind when I saw it, I'm like, you know, sex is next. Mm -hmm. So you don't even want to think 
about your child doing that because the, being the, sexual, right? In any because way. exactly because yep, the next step is to to be with someone else. Mm -hmm. So the, what happens uh, when your child? Because you guys have teenagers, all the majority of you women are pending. What happens when your child's a teenager and they're not comfortable enough to speak to you about it or you still haven't had that comfort conversation with them and, and their friends are doing it? My child is talking to me about way too much. Too much that I don't even want to talk about with her. I mean, we talk about and I, it. And I, I literally sit there and I just be like, <laughs> and, and just trying to figure out my way to work it. Like, play, I have to play mm -hmm. the line. I'm still your mother, but I get, I, I get it. Yes. That's well, how I things, deal with it too. I mean, I just I wanted to um, bring up that thing you're talking about the, um, the, the younger kids mm -hmm. not knowing how to verbally communicate what's actually happening to them. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that it's used a lot in these forced to care um, situations, but it, it can be used in regular household situations that safe is art therapy. Kids normally draw, draw right. what's actually happening, and they, right. they, and they use that a lot. You know, mm -hmm. like right. they when they think that things are happening, police may take them to a, a, a person that asks them a certain a certain series of questions and what get to get them to draw out what's actually happening so that they can really decipher what's right. actually taking place. And I think even with children that's grow that grows up in healthy homes, it's okay to take them. I think that sometimes I think kids, they do that in schools though. Right, and I think sometimes because they kids, analyze my child. What? I'll tell you guys, like in our class, I'm going to tell you just because mm -hmm. it's, in her art class, she drew two knobs and a long, okay? It was this big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? I mean, it was such a big deal. They told me at work. I was like, oh my God. It is a big What's deal. Going on? No, but the way, you know, they, they felt. She drew somebody's privates and She's oh my god, how did she? She was six. Even what the deal? We went no, we we went to school. We were like, oh my god, what the fuck is going on? We were so, but we tried it. to contain it, and they were like, you know, don't talk to her about it. Sleeping. Don't talk to her about it. Let's just address it all together. So we went. Because we automatically oh, think kids a are being abused. No. 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 We automatically think kids are being abused. Elephant. A faucet. It was a faucet. Uh, it's something that like I took a day off. Of the I was so mad, but cause and then they showed right. it to us. I was like, it is a faucet. Look at this. But you but know what? It was we autom They automatically go, and it's their job. But it's right. good that they do that it's their because job. if it was, God forbid, something when she else, was yeah. abused, you would want them of to be, you know, you on top of that. She got that picture. Right. Listen. She's like, oh, we'll to draw that. it's the faucet and the sink. And I'm like, <laughs> I can't believe this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Took a damn day off of work. The sad had part of work all was, night. Great, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. it's their job. So I think they do analyze every right. single thing that they do in school. But the they sad do. part about even what you brought up with that, um, what you read off the paper, is it why is it deemed negative? Why is masturbation with children deemed negative? Mm -hmm. Because there are some, there are a lot more negative things that have occurred in children's lives that may have caused them to go that route. But even if they did, you go, can't leave that. You can't discount that. Okay, let's just say because children. you're saying it's a natural. Let's thing. just say, no, no, no. It, we're not discounting. No, let's say it's like no underlying abuse. Right, we're not, not discounting. Negative. Like we're not. Let's just yeah, right. Like she said, let's put abuse out of it. Period. If you are a child for masturbating, if you're um, um, a young adult, if you're grown, even some some people even masturbate and have and feel bad after they do it. They're like so much. So many. Who do that? No, there's <laughs> studies on it of, of people that feel bad. They have a, a a bad feeling after they masturbate. So why is there a like a negative connotation with it? Period. Like we can't. I'm not saying don't think about abuse. Abuse is a good factor to think about, mm -hmm. but it's naturally happening. Without, I wasn't abused. I'll just say that. Mm -hmm. I think because sexuality is just so close. That's, 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 right. right. that's what I said. Like the whole thing yeah. about close sexuality doors. is like the shh behind it. You don't want anybody. And that's how we all got here. Honestly, Honestly, you, you've been to Brazil, I have to be so honest. It's, isn't it more open, like out there, than it is? <laughs> it is. And I have to be honest. <laughs> I mean, it is. <laughs> I look at, I look at masturbation as being a form of desperation. <gasps> What? I bet you! <laughs> <laughs> I 